Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Sumo Summary Show. This is Sumo Summary Show for day five. Uh, some interesting sumo today. Let's get right into it. I'm going to share my screen. Hope you're having a good Thursday. Almost the weekend, of course. All right, so the Patreon's clocking along. Uh, I got 250 people or about. So these are the matches from today. If you join up for a dollar... Uh, you get to see, I think I put up eight matches again. Had a long one here, a seven-minute video. You know, there's always something going on when the video gets that long. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> but we'll talk about it in a minute. And uh, I included, at the beginning, uh, we haven't seen the Dohyo Iri from Terano Fuji in a while. So I put up that at the beginning of the broadcast today. And I went back in and picked up the Asanoyama Ichiyamamoto match. Um, because we know today, day five, this was from day four, uh, day five, uh, Asanoyama had to pull out of the tournament. So I thought I picked a different thumbnail for that one, but that's okay. Hi. Right. Uh, and there you go. So that's what's happening over on Patreon. Thank you to everybody that's gone by and signed up so far. So let's jump in and see what happened here on day five. We'll start down in Jurio. So, uh, Hakuoho got another win. He's now 4-1. and one. He's doing very well and should finally go up to Bonsuke a good chunk. Um, if, he, if he wins the whole tournament down there in Jurio, he could get promoted up to like J2, as high as J2 maybe. Um, won't be enough. You know, he's not going to leapfrog from J13 up into the top division again, but definitely put him in good position in September to get promoted up if he has a winning record in September. Uh, but right now, four and one, very good position to be in. Uh, what we found, though, as we go through, Shishi from uh, Ukraine is four and one. Uh, Miyogiru's four and one. Surugisho's four and one. And what's important about this match is that Surugisho beat Asakoryu. So he is now also four and one, his first loss of the tournament. And you're going to see here Onokatsu, the other undefeated Rikshi in Jurio, losing today on day five. Now also four and one. So we got a big leaderboard of guys who are four and one, uh, and no undefeated Rikshi left in the Jurio division. All right. Jump up here to the top division. Oh, I think Enho fought again today. Let's go down. Did he fight again today? No. Okay. He must have fought yesterday then. Hold on. <laughs> Eh, eh. I don't see him here either. I thought I, when we clicked on him, he he had fought back to back days. Let's see here, real quick. Oh no, okay, maybe maybe these were the two back to back ones, and now they've got him fighting on day six tomorrow. So he's one and one, one win, one loss, and he fights again tomorrow on day six, Friday. So we'll keep an eye on Enho just for fun. Okay. So, top division, uh, jury -o man up. Uh, but one of the things we found out is that uh, Chiyo Shoma's coming back. So, he will be back on the uh, matchup list, the Torikumi, tomorrow for day six. And that's good news. Whatever was ailing him uh, did not sideline him for long. Asanoyama, after watching that match and seeing what happens to his knee, uh, I, I got to think he's going to be out for the whole tournament. Um, and potentially more than that. And unfortunately, at Maigashira 12, pulling out, even even though I think he had three or four wins, uh, he will get demoted down to Jurio. So that's a real setback for him. But uh, more concerning, of course, is the injury that he sustained on day four, and I'll try to get you some updates about that as I can. Uh, okay, so... Chio Shoma back. Uh, that's good news for him. All right. So Diamami came up zero and four, went to zero and five with another loss. He lost to Bushozan. So just struggling mightily uh, down there at Jurio two and doubtful that he'll be able to get his Kachikoshi now with, uh, with five losses already. Endo also struggling now one and four after losing to Nishiki Fuji. Roga improves to three and two after beating Takara Fuji, 
the veteran now under 500 with only two wins and three losses. Uh, Hokuto Fuji getting another win. I think he won yesterday and today to go to two and three by beating Kageyaki. Chirano Umi lost to Wakataka Kage. Wakataka Kage now in on the leaderboard, of course, uh, one off the pace at four and one and doing uh, quite well as we all expected him to do at this low rank. Asanoyama, there's the square, means that he gave up a free win, a Fusensho win to Midori Fuji, who gets the win, goes to three and two. Asanoyama is three and two, and then, you know, 10 absences. So, uh, like I said, he'll be demoted down to Jurio. We'll just have to see what happens with him uh, as we find out more about his medical condition. Shodai getting a win, now three and two, by beating Nishkigi. Nishkigi, uh, uh, like Diamami, zero and five in the top division. So he's really got to turn things around. He doesn't have to get a Kachikoshi to stay, but he's got to get some wins. He's probably got to get four or five wins, or he'll be demoted. I think with a five and ten at M eleven, he would probably stay. But even that's a little iffy. He really wants to try to get six. So we'll see. Tamawashi continuing to win as he approaches forty years of age. Uh, yeah, his birthday is in November. So the Maiga Shira 9 uh, is 4-1 and one by beating Ichi Yamamoto. Oshoma also doing well at 4-1. And, one and uh, much younger than Tamawashi uh, beating Koto Shoho today. Kimbozan like Nishikigi, 0-5. So just all kinds of things going wrong for Kimbozan. And uh, the wrestler from Kazakhstan is struggling this tournament. What's his high rank overall? Maigashira 5. Okay. So he's currently a Maigashira 8. So you can see he's just kind of bouncing around this sort of near Maigashira 10 level. And, uh, but uh, when did he get Kachikoshi last? Oh, he got Kachikoshi in May. Yeah, before that, yeah. The last time he's gotten more than 8 wins was back in September of last year. So... Okay, Ryudin lost to Takanosho. Bummer for me, Ryudin's on my team. But also, <laughs> I picked Asanoyama. So many of you probably did as well, and now we're not going to get any more wins in that column. So that's going to hurt a lot of our chances uh, for winning the contest, right? Okay, Takanosho beat Ryudin. Then Sadanumi lost to Shonanumi, who's 4-1. Tobizaru is also 4-1 by beating Meisei. Then the coverage starts on the Patreon channel with the Komasubi Clash we have here on Day 5. Daisho beating Hirata Umi. Both men entered that match 2-2. Two and two. And Daisho is the winner to go to 3-2. and two. Abi got his first win on the clay after he got a free win when Takiyasu pulled out. He finally got win number 2 today against Atami Fuji, who's now 2-3 and three as well. Onosato, probably in a surprise... For a few people, just because he hasn't been wrestling well in the first few days. Uh, got a win today over fellow Sekewake Kirishima. Uh, so, good news for Ono Sato. He's now 2-3. and three. Uh, Kirishima falls off the one-loss you know, leaderboard down to the two-loss with a 3-2 and two record. Ozeki Kotozakura lost to go to 3-2. and two. He lost to Matake Yumi, who improves to 2-3. and three. But Taki Keisho, for you Taki Keisho diehards, Got a win today. He really needed it, I think. Uh, two and three just feels a lot better than a one and four. And he beat Ura in the process. So, the Koto Zakura Mitake Yumi match was the match that was a bit long uh, on the Patreon, a seven minute video or so, because there was a Mono E. Uh, they went down, I thought at the same time, I thought it should have been a Tori Naoshi a do over. A uh, rematch, but uh, the judges disagreed with me, <laughs> and they gave the win to Mitake Yumi. All right, Wakamoto Haru, not much of a challenge for Hoshoru today. So the Maigashira 2 is now 2-3, and three, and Hoshoru is slightly better at 3-2, and two, tied with Ozeki Kotozakura. And the final match of the day, Teruno Fuji Gonoyama. Gonoyama put up a spirited fight, uh, but was still no match for the Yokozuna. 
who is the only undefeated Rikishi in the top division and is now 5-0. and oh. All right, let's look at our leaderboards. So, Yokozuna Terunofuji, 5-0, and oh, undefeated. And then we got five guys at 4-1. and one. Tobizaru, Shonana Umi, Oshoma, Tamawashi, and Wakataka Kage. So quite a mixture there. No other Sanyaku uh, level wrestlers are in that group. Uh, no Ozeki, no Sekewake, no Komasubi. It's just all my Gashira rank wrestlers, one off the pace. And then down in Jurio, what do we got? Seven guys all tied for the lead at four and one. Onokatsu, Asakoryu, Surugisho, Shirokuma, Miyogiru, Shishi, and Haku Oho. Who's the only man where his pitcher is up against some weird background and not just a plain white background. And they haven't updated that pitcher. He still doesn't have a Chonmage here. Let's see what it... Yeah. Uh, that's like at the Koku Gikan. They put him up against a wall and said, hey, we need to take your pitcher. But surely they could update that now. Um, anyway. Uh, so. He is uh, tied for the lead with a bunch of other guys down in Jurio. Okay. Anything else? Oh, and we just go over to the standings of the channel contest. So Grimbeard, if you're watching this, congrats. You're at the top right now. Got Terano Fuji, Kirishima, Tobizaru, Shonana, Umi, Tamawashi, and Wakataka Kage on your team. And uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to edit this. Can I move this? So maybe not. Yeah, I was going to move this out. No, I can't do that. All right. We'll mess around with it just so you can see all of Wakataka Kage's name there. Then only one person in uh, second place, Jonathan. Good team for him as well. And then we got how many people? Four people in third place, Jabba, Zerubin, Nekonoyama, and Brutus. And I am way, way down. Well, first of all, I have... Ono Sato in this category. He's only got two wins so far. I have Asanoyama, who's not going to get any more wins. And I have Ryuden, I think, who only has one win. And I definitely don't have Terano Fuji. I have Koto Zakura, I think. So, yeah, my my team is, is, is not doing well. And, uh, yep, go ahead and click on the link. It's down in the description if you want to see where you are. Let's see. If you're in the top 100... Uh, mm, yeah, top 75 would be pretty good. Uh, you're still kind of in the running after that. It starts, you know, the, the, the sixth place group has 19 points compared to 24. And that's quite a few point difference already just five days in, but we'll see how Grimbeard does. If he keep, if he keeps going, it depends of course, a lot on his wrestlers, whether they stay healthy and stay active and keep getting wins. All right. I think that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, not much else to talk about, really, other than tomorrow, Friday, day six. I won't be here, so don't miss me. But uh, do come back on Saturday. Um, yeah, Friday night I'm going out. I don't think I'll be home in time to make this kind of summary show. But if I am, maybe, you know, check. You never know. Um, for the Patreons, I'm not going to even have match coverage. I'm going to do highlights, which are going to go up Saturday morning, Japan time. And uh, then I'll do Saturday normal, day seven activity, day eight. And uh, for you, those of you who want to watch live sumo, day eight is one of those days, maybe day seven too, but day eight for sure, where NHK live streams uh, the last hour from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Japan time on Sunday. So depending on what time that is for you, where you are, where you are in the world, um, you can watch some live sumo uh, with English play-by-play. -play. Uh, I would assume you can click something and get uh, Ross or you know uh, Raja or or Hero or whoever might be doing it. Uh, Murray. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Have a good Friday, guys. Um, come back and see me on Saturday. And uh, any, any links or information you need are down in the description. Okay, take care. Peace.